Hello everybody, welcome to the Red Men TV and the Transfer Fat Files. One of the strongest link players to Liverpool Football Club this summer has been Sheridan Shakiri, who plays for Stoke City. I'm Ben Kelly, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about Liverpool's latest transfer target. So we'll get straight into it with some basic facts. He's 26 years old, he of course plays for Stoke City. His main position is on the right wing, but he can also play centrally as a cam or even as a centre forward. He plays pretty much exclusively right wing for his country, but for Stoke, he's been playing out wide, he's been playing down the middle he's been mixing it up previous clubs include FC Basel Bayern Munich and Inter Milan he's played in Champions League finals German Cup finals he's won Bundesliga titles out there in Germany his strengths include excellent set piece deliveries and long shot efforts a lot like Philip Coutinho used to do for us he's got the ability to get the ball and bam goal from 30 yards out he's got that ability to be spontaneous he's got that ability to put a corner on the head of somebody attacking it and create a goal for us which is really good we don't have that many good free kick takers and corner takers in the side he'll be a fine addition for us and of course another positive and one of the biggest positives that you could ask for as a Liverpool fan he loves a goal against Everton so let's have a rundown of some of his stats for Stoke City last season he got eight goals in 36 appearances which tells you that he stays fit for long periods of the season which some of our current options just don't do Adam Milana is the one to spring to mind he's got a 12 million pound release clause which makes me think oh why not he's available at a really cheap affordable price for Liverpool it's a release clause so there's no negotiation involved we can just go in, get it sorted and we've got a good alternative there on the bench for when one of our front three is tired, when one of our front three is injured. We've got a player who's Premier League proven, he's got experience of our English football to come in and do the job, fill the gap. And he's also got seven assists this season, four of those being from corners, which leads back into what I said before about the fact that he can put in a good set-piece delivery. He does an excellent job of getting a dangerous ball in there for somebody to head in. Despite only having seven assists, he's actually created 16 big chances this season. And with the front three that we've got, the better players that we've got in our squad, you'd assume that a lot of those chances being created are more likely to be converted if he was to put on a Liverpool shirt. And on Sunday, of course, he played on the biggest stage of all at the World Cup, representing his country, Switzerland, against Brazil. It was a one-all draw, but we've been analysing his individual performance in a red shirt in that case. He was very isolated due to how the Swiss set up. They let Brazil have a lot of the ball, and because of that, Chern Shaqiri wasn't particularly involved for a lot of the game. But when he did get his opportunities, he was quite bright going forward. He was one of the ones who made it look as if it was going to happen for Switzerland every time they went forward. He had some dodgy decision-making moments moments but overall he looked quite good on the ball he's got very tight control as I say before he's got a very good delivery on him when it comes to putting balls into the box their goal comes from his corner delivery into the box as I've said before he's just got that ability to put a dangerous ball into the box and cause problems for the defending team that was his 71st appearance for his country last night. He's bagged 20 goals in that time. He's been very, very important for them. As I said before, he plays primarily on the right wing for Switzerland. But over the course of the season, as I said, he's been playing in different positions for Stoke City. He's played 24 on the right-hand side, nine as an attacking midfielder and three as a forward. And that's a very interesting point because we know that Jurgen Klopp loves players with a bit of versatility about them. And the biggest example that I can give you of that is Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Look at the positions that he can play. He can play on either of the wings. He can play wing backs if we choose to play at three at the back but primarily he wants to play in central midfield which is where he's been playing a lot of the time but we know that he can do another job in another position if we needed to. James Milner is another one primarily a midfielder but he spent the whole of 2016-17 filling in at left back. That's what Jurgen Klopp likes from his players. He likes players who are flexible and are happy to play in lots of different positions. Chern Shaqiri is one of those players and he's only going to cost £12 million. Should Liverpool sign Chern Shaqiri? Let us know in the comments. For me it's a no-brainer. He's affordable we can go and get him right now, we can integrate him into the squad ahead of pre-season and we can get him in the team when it comes to next season. He's a better alternative for me than some of the options that we've currently got on the bench. But like I say, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment and I'll see you next time on the Red Men TV for more Transfer Fat Files. Goodbye.